Uh, good evening everyone and welcome to Ivan's uh, fishing videos and I just wanted to update you with some uh, uh, things that have been uh, going on over here and what I'm gonna be doing my uh, reviews on okay so uh, I have a, a case here of uh, fly fishing flies that I purchased uh, recently and uh, I'm gonna show you the uh, the each fly just so you have an idea uh, what I'm gonna be testing out on the river out there okay uh, before we go to the flies I have my uh, fly fishing setup over here so this is my uh, Fenwick Eagle uh, rod it's it's a four piece rod with a vintage rim fly uh, reel so the the reel is from uh, England UK and uh, the 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 Fenwick Eagle is uh, obviously American uh, fly rod just so in case if you were not aware of that anyways so let's get back on the flies so that uh, you, you can see what I've purchased the uh, and um, so on okay so here we go uh, before before I show each fly uh, specifically and individually let me know if you want me to uh, if, if you if you want me to review a certain fly for you so that in that case I can I, I, I can um, do the close-up uh, video on the river on, with my DSLR and kind of see how that the uh, fly performs just in case if you have something specific in your mind okay there we go so here we go the first one the first one that I have over here this looks like your typical what I call um, let's put it over here uh, a nymph uh, uh, a nymph fly uh, they're about two ninety nine. Some of them go for about uh, one ninety nine. So just so you know how much they go for. In case if you want to start making them or um, w what not, because at two ninety nine, they're getting uh, fairly pricey. Just so you know. Okay, so that's the first one. Okay, so this guy looks really interesting. Uh, they told me this is uh, this is good for for a for a trout for a salmon. Uh, uh, it's uh, it, it is just Im Im impressive uh, uh, fly out there. If you if you look, it's trying to zoom in here. It says uh, carnage stone salmon number eight. Just uh, just reading what does it say there. Okay, so they go to the next one. Another, um, I would say, a uh, nymph. It says a uh, wolf right there. I would say it's a uh, uh, streamer. Yeah, that based on the uh, vinks. It doesn't seem like a, it's a dry fly, but I would I would go for a, looks like a typical streamer to me. Yeah, there you go, up close. From this angle over here but let's put it back in there and then there's this one this one has a pretty uh, thick uh, body so it could be a, a dry fly but then I get confused because uh, it uh, it has the wings as well so but, but I, I would suppose this is a this is a this is a wet fly because the wings uh, I mean just based on the body and whatnot uh, there you go I mean when I bought him uh, they, uh, I, I said, you know, give me about three, four, and I told them I'm going to be fishing the uh, trout and um, bass. So for like what, fifteen dollars, they gave me about, uh, you know, what you see there. That's what that's what, that's what I got for fifteen dollars. Yeah. So that's so I'm going to be as soon as the weather gets a little better, I'm going to be reviewing these flies. So if you have anything particular, uh, leave a comment. And I'd be more than happy to rig the fly and see how it performs uh, and uh, go from there. Okay, I found, uh, I hope you found uh, the video uh, useful. And another shot of my uh, fly fishing setup that I'm going to be showing you in my next video. As soon as it gets, as soon as it gets a little warmer so I can show you a couple of casts. Okay, see you next time.